let's take a look at what model predicates are. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, welcome back to a little bit more. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about model predicates, highest level overview. Basically, we're going to be able to add a property or a value, a variable, so to speak, to our item stack, right? So to item stacks, this is not quite as like used as data components, but basically we can have a variable and it can be read out, so to speak, by a model. Therefore, depending on all sorts of different things, whether or not be, you know, whether or not we have a data component, whether or not the stack is damaged or something like that, we can then change that particular value and that can change the texture of an item. This is really cool. One thing that you've seen where this basically works is with a bow, right? Because obviously when you right click a bow, right? And well, you have a bow in your inventory and you right click, then it starts changing its texture. And that is actually done with a model predicate. So in our case, we're going to do this as well for our chisel item. Idea being that the chisel item, when we actually add the data component over here, our custom one, I then want to slightly change its texture. It's not going to be too crazy. Like the texture is not going to be, you know, crazily changed, but it is going to be visible. And that's the most important thing here. So in the util package, this could in theory go into any package, but I'm going to put it into the util package. It's going to be the mod model predicates. There we go. And this is going to have a singular public static void register register model predicates predicates. There you go. And this is going to be super simple. You want to call the model predicate provider registry that register. For what particular item? Well, in our case, we wanted to register this for the mod items that chisel. Then we have to give it an identifier uh, that of the name here, tutorial mod mod ID, and the name is going to be use. So this is the name of the variable, basically. And then as the third parameter, we can start typing in stack, and you can see that we then get this suggestion for the clamped model predicate provider. I'm going to hit tab to autocomplete this. And of course, I want to now return, so we can return a floating point number, and we can then later read that out, basically, quote unquote via a JSON file. So we can say if this particular used variable has a specific floating point number value, then we want to do something. Because this is sort of a function, what we can basically do is, well, we can either just return a value. Obviously, that it's not quite what we want. What we want to say is if the stack dot get uh, mod data component types dot coordinates, if that is not null, right, so that it has this, then we're going to return a one. And if it is null, then obviously we know that no coordinates have been added to the stack and then we're going to return a zero. However, you can see we also have access to the world. We also have access to the entity, meaning you can check for the health of the player. You can, in theory, check for whether or not you're in a specific biome. All of those things you could, in theory, check right here and therefore change the item texture. It's really cool. It's a really versatile system, actually. And I'm surprised that I haven't seen that many crazy things done with it because there can actually be like a lot of different cool things can be done with this. You even have the seed available. I'm pretty sure this is the seed for the for the world. So you can even randomize it a little bit. Could be very interesting indeed. But whatever the case may be, that is the registration of the model predicate done. However, as I've said, this is going to be read out in the item model JSON file. Therefore, no longer can we have the following, and that is for the chisel over here, the automatically generated item model JSON file, because we actually have to make this manually. So in our assets tutorial mode folder, we're going to create a new directory called models, and then inside of there, another new directory called item. And once we have that, what we can do is we can then actually use the already created JSON file that we have over here in the generated folder, and we can just drag it down. So we have this right here. This is going to be the chisel. We're just going to drag this all the way down to our newly manually created folder over here, because why not? And we're going to be able to use this We can close this up again. That's going to be fine. And what we're going to see is that this obviously points to the chisel over here. That's fine. We're going to have a second one. So we're going to take this JSON file and move it into the same folder while holding control. Then it's going to copy this file. We're going to call this the chisel underscore used. And crazily enough, this is going to have the chisel underscore used here as the texture. We're going to add this texture too. So we're going to have a secondary texture, like I said. And this is also going to be available to you down below. So no worries there at all. And you can see that it is very, very much just like a little bit of a brighter pink over here. There's nothing too crazy going on. Like I said, I just want you to sh like, I just want this as an example. It's not really a functional example that much, but I think this is going to illustrate the point. And then hopefully you can transfer the knowledge you gained over here and use it for your own items. However, 
how do we read out the well the the different the model predicate is the question and the way to do this is we're going to add in the chisel.json an overwrites right here overwrites and this is going to be a list right so this is a list of objects this object has a predicate right this is where the model predicate comes in and this is called tutorial mod colon used uh -huh. and if that is one then what we're going to do is we're going to then choose a different model and this different model is going to be tutorial mod colon item slash chisel underscore used honestly this should be fairly self-explanatory on its own but i'm going to explain it nonetheless if nothing happens so if the tutorial mod used over here is not one right if this is if this particular thing is not one then we're simply going to point to the chisel texture very straightforward however as soon as the model predicate that we've defined right here is one basically this happens when you add a coordinate to the stack then what's going to happen is it's then going to change the model instead of using the text right here it's going to say okay we're going to look for the chisel used model in the item folder right so it's going to look tutorial mod models item chisel used and it's then going to use this json file effectively changing the texture of that particular item that's literally all that's happening here super straightforward and it is really freaking cool i highly recommend if you want in a vanilla example of this as well take a look at the bow super awesome as well that is a great thing to take a look at but lastly we basically need to register this and that's the last step so that's going to be in the tutorial mod client class we're just going to say mod model predicates dot register model predicates and that is it now that that is registered and that we have the predicate properly added right here and we have the chisel json and the chisel use json we can jump into the game and see if it works all right, I found it back in Minecraft and let's just chisel a couple of things and you can see all of a sudden because the data component is now added onto this item stack we can see it changes its texture that is absolutely freaking fantastic and like i said it's not a huge change although it is definitely noticeable i will say that it's definitely noticeable but yeah that is item model predicates basically added here in this case as an example and i can tell you it's going to it's like a super cool system i'm really interested in seeing if you can come up with anything really cool for this but yeah that is item model predicates added to our item awesome as per usual, all of the code and everything you might need is linked in the description below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom bow to Minecraft. Hope to see you there. So, 